The Indian government is moving to cancel the free movement agreement with Myanmar. What is this agreement? Under this agreement, without a visa, people from Myanmar and India could have crossed over to each other's side. And without a visa, they could have stayed on for a limited period. Now, ever since the Manipur crisis began, there have been demands from Chief Minister N. Biren Singh and the majority Methi community that this free movement agreement must be scrapped. Their allegation that cookie militants were being brought in from Myanmar and they were also bringing in arms and ammunition. And that was one of the key reasons why the situation was not uh, resolving in Manipur because cookies, not just in Manipur, but from other parts uh, of, of uh, Myanmar were also being brought in. Now, just to give you a background, uh, the Kuki Zo tribes have a kinship with the Chin tribe in Myanmar. Uh, they share family relations, they share ancestry, and therefore this free movement agreement was worked out between India and uh, Myanmar uh, about five years ago to ensure that people uh, continued to participate in each other's uh, you know, family uh, functions, continue to maintain that kinship without restricting them as far as uh, visa or border issues are concerned. But ever since the Manipur problem began, like I explained, there were demands, there is a wedge that has uh, now divided the cookies and the Maiti communities there. And that is leading to Ministry of Home Affairs recommending to Ministry of External Affairs that this entire movement be scrapped. Now, let me read out to you what Home Minister Amit Shah really said as far as, uh, you know, this, this particular agreement uh, scrapping is concerned. He tweeted, and I'm uh, quoting him now, he says that Ministry of Home Affairs has recommended to Ministry of External Affairs uh, that the free movement agreement be scrapped. The FMR, as, as it is called, the free movement regime, Ministry of Home Affairs has decided that the free movement regime between India and Myanmar be scrapped to ensure that internal security of the country and to maintain the demographic balance of the northeastern parts of our country bordering Myanmar. He goes on to say that since Ministry of External Affairs is currently seized off for the matter, so with immediate effect, MHA is uh, suspending the free movement regime or uh, the FMR. Essentially, this means that from this moment, uh, there is no free movement that is going to be allowed. M. Biren Singh, the Manipur Chief Minister on Expected Lines, has welcomed this. Reading out from his tweet, he says, immensely grateful to Honorable Sri Narendra Modi and Honorable Home Minister Amit Shah. The decision to scrap the free movement regime between India and Myanmar is crucial. This is what Chief Minister says, is crucial for our internal security and demographic integrity of the Northeastern region. This is yet another historic decision in curbing illegal immigration. So that is the core of this entire issue. Manipur Chief Minister and the majority Methi population has said that the people who were responsible for burning Manipur were illegal immigrants. The cookies, of course, have contested this. They have said that we are very much Indians. We are part of India. We are part of Manipur's history and tradition. And unnecessarily, we are being painted as illegal immigrants. But nevertheless, 1,643 kilometers of the India-Myanmar border will be fenced now, just like the India-Pakistan border, just like the India-Bangladesh border. Fencing would mean there would be proper patrolling. There will be border guarding forces there. Uh, the BSF will be there. The SSB will be there. And they will ensure uh, that there is no movement without valid documents. So now you will require a visa. You will require a permit if you want to go from uh, our, our border, from the Indian border towards the Myanmar side.